Hey, what's going on? Uh, this is going to be a little demo slash comparison. I'm going to be running this vintage Elka Rhapsody 490 through my Synthoma L Chorus, which, if you guys don't know, the Synthoma L Chorus is a vintage, sort of vintage, um, it's an analog string ensemble chorus effect that simulates the string ensemble effect found in uh, keyboards from the 70s, such as the Alka Rap City 490, the Selena String Ensemble, which I actually have the Behringer right here, um, Logan String Melody, the Krumar Orchestrator, among many, many others. And it actually uses the same uh, BBD chips that are found in the Rap City 490 and the Selena. So what I'm trying to do is I'm, I'm running the Rap City 490 through the L Chorus, and I'm going to see if it sort of fattens up the sound with this because in the Rhapsody 490, for its built-in ensemble effect, it only uses two uh, delay lines for it, whereas the Selena, the Logan String Melody, the Krumar Orchestrator all use three delay lines for their chorus modulation ensemble effect. And this unit right here has three delay lines, so it and it uses the same BBD chips, like I said, as found in this. So using this in conjunction with this, I'm hoping to get more closer to a Selena sound. I mean, this ensemble effect by by itself sounds great on its own, but with an extra delay line, you know, I, I'm hoping it would sound more full, just a little bit more lush and closer to that, you know, legendary Selena. So, uh, right now I have it going right into the L chorus and some pedals too, but we're just going to do the L chorus for now. And I have it set up. Uh, these all these are the three delay line uh, parts right here where you can adjust what level, whatever levels you want for each BBD chip. I have delay line two and three zeroed out, so there's nothing going out of them. And I only have delay line one on right now, and of course the LFOs are, you know, where they need to be. So here is just the dry sound uh, of the Rhapsody 490. <laughs> turn on, leave the violin cello on, and we will engage the L chorus and see what happens. Hmm. Definitely a bit of a sound drop out there. Hmm. Oh, definitely. Wow. I just did not see that coming. put the strings on too and see if that thickens up the sound. So again, this is just the 490 right now. The L chorus is off and we'll turn it on. Yeah, it definitely adds something to it. I love those lower octaves. <laughs>
Okay, let's just for... Let's bring in the other two delay lines just to see what it does. Adding uh, all three delay lines definitely thickens up the sound quite a bit. Um, we'll just zero them out again, just have one delay line. Um, oops. Yep. Wow, definitely a lot of sound dropping out. Very interesting. So, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of hard to get um, full sound with just using one delay line. But I turned up the other two delay lines, and the sound came in. So I'm sure it's just a matter of old technology, and you know, this is this is a new unit, a newer unit, but it still has all old, uh, new old stock parts in it. So there's going to be some uh, little issues, I'm sure. But of course, you know. A, nearly 50 year old instrument right here of course it's not gonna be perfect but uh yeah very impressed with the results um this thing is still awesome this is actually the one that i used to own like seven years ago this exact rhapsody 490 that i sold a music around in i think kenosha back in sometime in 2017 so it's kind of cool uh having this again but yeah huge huge shout out to music around in greenfield for letting me borrow this and uh make this video. It's not a perfect video by any means, but I just wanted to see what this would sound like through the L chorus and the different delay lines working together. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, I'll probably be taking this back later today or tomorrow, but yeah, I just wanted to make this little video comparison and show you guys uh, some interesting string ensemble stuff. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.